dear students now we are going to discuss the basic optical laws and definitions of important optical parameters in this lecture video we are going to cover the concepts of reflection and refraction refractive index and snell's law in general light waves travel in a straight line at the speed of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second in free space but the speed of light waves depends on the material through which it passes that means when the light wave travels through a material it exhibits certain behaviors like reflection and refraction okay so first we are going to discuss law of reflection so here we can consider a reflective surface like glass material when a light ray is incident on a reflective surface at an angle phi 1 then the ray will be reflected from the surface at an angle phi 2 so here we can consider an imaginary normal that is perpendicular line with respect to this surface okay so here phi 1 is an angle at which the light ray incidents a surface with respect to this normal line here theta 1 is the angle of incidence with respect to this interface okay here phi 1 is called as angle of incidence phi 2 is the angle at which the light is reflected hence it is called as angle of reflection do you all understand this one from this diagram we can state the law of reflection that is the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection that is the first law okay so here the law of reflection states that the angle of incidence is equal to what angle of reflection okay the next one is refraction here we can consider two different media less dense medium as air more dense medium as glass medium okay so when the light ray is incident at the boundary interface between these two media the wave is refracted refraction means bending of the light ray that is it is changing its direction at the boundary interface so it occurs when the light ray passes from less dense medium to more dense medium do you all understand this one so this is the refracted ray okay the next one is refractive index it is also called as index of diffraction it is denoted as small n it is the fundamental optical parameter of a material it represents the amount of refraction in a material so it can be defined as the ratio of speed of light in air to the speed of light in particular medium or material okay so it can be denoted as n that is equal to c by v here c is the speed of the light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second v is the speed of light in a given material so here are examples of refractive index for different materials for air its value is 1 for water its value is 1.33 for glass fiber its value is 1.5 for diamond its value is 2 to 2.4 for silicon 3.4 the next one is snell's law it is an important optical law which relates the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction between two media with different indexes here consider two media with different indexes first medium is more dense medium that is glass medium with refractive index n1 the second medium is less dense medium that is air medium with refractive index n2 so from this this n2 is always less than n1 okay here the normal line that is the perpendicular line with respect to this boundary interface this is the boundary interface between these two media when the light wave is propagating from more dense medium to this less dense medium if it is incident at an angle phi 1 at the boundary interface part of the wave is reflected in the same medium the remainder is refracted in the second medium with the angle of refraction phi 2 so from this we come to know that 
this phi 2 is greater than this phi 1. That is, the angle of refraction is greater than this angle of incidence. Do you all understand this one? So, it is related by using this Snell's law. So, here N2 is less than N1, phi 2 is greater than phi 1. When N2 is less than N1, the refraction of the light ray at the interface is the result of the difference in the speed of light. Okay. So, it is represented as N1 sin phi 1 is equal to N2 sin phi 2. From this, we can get the relation sin phi 1 by sin phi 2 is equal to N2 by N1. So, this is called as Snell's law. Okay. So, here the sin phi 1 by sin phi 2 is equal to N2 by N1. It relates the angle of incidence and angle of refraction. So, refracted wave is also known as transmitted wave at the interface of two different media.